everybody. I am going to show you guys how to uh, use the new uh, hooking and calling feature in the uh, edit my name script. It's also in the new, not script, but plugin. Uh, it's also in the new uh, live offset plugin uh, there. I forgot exactly what I named it, but anyway. Alright, so I had already uh, um, I've already run the class scanner and uh, I'm gonna save you the time that takes it does take a little bit of time and what I searched for was there, character graphics controller bring you back to where I was, but I just wanted you guys to see how I got there so you could reproduce it if you desired to. So this is what we searched for. That was the name of this class. Bunch of stuff in here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do on roll. So what this is, is, is a, a method that is called after you roll. Uh, I think it, at the, what it replaces basically the, uh, the roll animation. But anyway, you'll see it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily replace it, um, but it can potentially, depending on, depending on what you set it to. And we'll get to that. But anyways. This is on roll. We're gonna hook this. So press OK. And what that means is anytime this is normally called, we're gonna basically intercept that and redirect it to somewhere else. So press hook down here. Just press OK, leave that there. It's good to have a reminder of what this is, because it's going to go right into your saved edits menu. As you can see, don't try running it. That's why I've made a little note there. You have to create and uh, set, or create the, <laughs> create edit, as in press the button, create edit, and set the called method. So uh, leave that selected down there, and we're actually going to press class scanner, because that's still selected. And uh, when you revive, uh, you'll get a little invincibility, and then you get a little shield bubble animation that happens around you. So on revive, now this isn't going to give you inv invincibility because this is a uh, class that's for animation, basically. But but it will show you how it works, kind of. So we're going to call this, and it, we're going to call it uh, when on roll uh, is called, because we're hooking on roll. All right. That is done. Play. Now, let's see. If I roll, <laughs> there's the animation for a second. All right. There, see that's a revive animation. Now, now I've already revived, but there. So every time I roll, that animation's gonna reappear. If there, we'll replace it with something else. Class scanner again, because I want something else from here. And I already have that class selected. Uh and jump. Call function, and we're just going to replace what unroll is per presently calling. And now every time I roll, it will uh, do this. Hold on. There we go. Kind of flying. So 
there you go. And he he stays in that uh, that animation until you change lanes or jump or uh, something else like that. But anyway, I think that's enough to explain how it works. You know, the potential for it is far greater than just changing an animation that you see. You know, you can set, uh, redirect a failed web request if it has the same parameters as, as a successful web request to, say, from on request failed to on request success. And you could do potentially things like uh, free in-app purchases or who knows what, but uh, hopefully that's helpful.